everyone, welcome back to Jackie's Creative Lifestyle. I've decided that I'm going to showcase to you something a little different about Stamping Up, and that is Memories and More. I've decided that this year I am going to include videos of um, what I do with my memories keeping um, throughout this year. Um, I've had lots of occasions over Christmas and things, so I'd like to get that, um, all those into a book and an album. So um, this is what I've started with, and I'm going to show you what we have. Now that was my Christmas album, and I'm, um, I've started it, and I'm going to show you a little bit of it today. Now in this particular um, catalogue, which is our annual Stamping Up catalogue, you'll find the Memories and More pages, and that's on 190. And in here you will see that we have albums and the sleeves, the little um, pocket, pocket pages that you can get from us. So all of it is available. The cards are available, but I'm going to show you how to actually make more from your cards. And then we have over the page, these are collection kits. So these are kits for different um, subjects, whether it's baby or whatever it may be. And you'll have little embellishments in those kits as well. So it's really, really good because we have the four sets and then we have um, one come out in our occasions catalogue as well. And so this year we got the Christmas one. Now I'm going to actually use, for the one I'm doing today, we're going to use the Memory and More pack from a year or so ago. And I'm just going to go through my stash and I'm going to use what I've got um, so that I can use it all up. I'm just sick of looking at all my piles getting higher and higher. So now I've just gone through my cards, my 4x6 cards, and I've chosen these two. Now, I couldn't find one, and I've, I'm going to use one that um, I've already got a ribbon on, and I'm just showing you there how I used it on the other side. Um, and I'm going to actually put a little title. This is going to be my title page. And we're going to put, um, Santa has arrived. So the actual pages I'm going to do for you today is um, Christmas morning. And um, at the very end, when I finish this album, I will put the whole thing together and show you um, from woe to go. And I'm doing this particular album from about a few days before Christmas and um, right through to the end of January, because we have our summer break right to the end of January. So um, all the things we get up to this Christmas and the summer break are all going to be in this one album. So I'm quite pleased to um, see this come together. It's the first time I've actually done a little mini album for this reason. I normally do my um, memory keeping in my larger albums, and I've been doing that now for about 20 years. So um, for this, so this isn't new to me, but it is um, memory keeping with pockets um, is a little new. I've only been doing it for a couple of years. So... Um, I just really want to show you what I do, and there's many of us out there that do different um, ways of memory keeping, um, and this is just my way of doing it, and um, I'm going to just show you um, just my little different um, bits and pieces that I do, that I enjoy, and I um, today I'm going to use not only a bit of stamping up, um, and what I'm showing you here is all the Stamping Up little um, enamel dots and things. And this is what we have available through Stamping Up. But I am going to use some other embellishments from some other companies that I had in my stash and that I want to use. So there's our little um, our title card done. And I've, I've just blocked my children's face. Um, there is another child in some of these photos that... Um, I don't, haven't got permission from the parent to use. She's a rel relative, so I'm going to block her face as well if you see those coming through. Um, I may unblock some of my children as we go along, but um, at this stage I've just blocked them and um, we'll just, I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do there. But you can see the photo and you can see what I'm doing. So that's all good. So I'm just going to pop there a little note that um, my daughter has been wanting to get this and so she's been asking Santa for a very long time, and she finally gets it. So all I've done here is um, I've just used those embellishments. Now those ones came from the actual Memory and More um, Stamping Up set, so I didn't have to go with any other company on that one. So Stamping Up does have a great range that you can use um, for memory keeping. So there isn't a lot of people doing videos on the Stamping Up range in the pocket mem memories, so... Um, that's why I've added it into my videos um, along with my cards. 
Now with um, what I'm doing here is I've just cut out one of the smaller cards and used the image from that. And I'm just going to write a little bit about um, the morning and, and how we all came about and what we did in the morning with um, Santa's arrival. And um, so I'll just write that up there now with my little bit of journaling. And then I'll um, adhere that um, picture onto there. Um, I've decided to sort of keep the colour range the same, very similar throughout. And um, the one thing that I do really enjoy doing is actually decorating these cards, these journaling cards. And as we go through, I'm going to be putting in, um, over the coming weeks, I'm going to be using the Stamping Up stamp sets into my cards and um, and just showing you how you can actually if you love making cards there's no reason why you can't decorate these cards um, and pop them in with your photos and it's very simple to do memory keeping you just do like a card front and that's what goes in your pocket that's going to tell all about what's happening and then you just pop your photos in so very simple you can keep it as simple or as elaborate as you want to so I just have a bit of trouble there with my little pearls. So what I'm doing is I'm putting white pearls on the snow globe. And this actually, would you believe, up close, it really does look like the snow globe is 3D. And these are the little snowflakes. So I was quite pleased how this one came along, actually. Now, with all my cards, I date stamp. so that, um, And I just put the day, the month, and the year. And I just pop that always on my journaling, wherever it is there. So that's one of the journal cards finished now and these embellishments were released at Christmas with Stampin' Up and um, I used a lot on some cards that I made and these are ones that I had left over. So pop them in a little box and here I am now using them up. So this is a little nutcracker that I'm going to stick on there. I would have liked to stick this one on the top actually but it was just a bit too long so I've just popped it there on the side to give it some dimension. So there we have. Uh, this side of the um, pockets. Now we're just going to do some top ones. I'm just bringing in this um, these embellishments that I've got that I had in stock and my little stash and I'm going to use those up and just pop some little bits on there and that said Santa and traditions. See how simple it is? You don't have to go into heaps of detail. All you've got to do is just pop all the bits on that you would normally do if you're decorating a card. Very simple. So what I do is I go through and place my um, photos in first and then I decide where the empty pockets are. I'll pop the, the decorative cards and the information and journaling. This is the stamp set I'm going to use in the coming weeks, which I'm quite looking forward to. And we're going to do some colouring and things like that. So um, it's going to be just a little bit different. So here we have this page completed. And I'm just going to put the two together now and show you the finished layout. So there we go, Santa has arrived, that's our layout for today. And um, if you do want to have a look at any of the Stamping Up products, you can go online or you can contact me at jackie at connect.co.nz and I'll have all the details listed below. Thank you.